Mr. Incredible, Incredible, punching the bug. Okay, now that's about enough of that. Uh, so, The Incredibles 2 movie. Yes, um, this is the, uh, the thing I've mentioned in my other video that I bought to, uh, uh drink while watching the movie. And I didn't use, and I didn't show you guys in the video because this thing just keeps falling off very easily and it just it fell out it fell down a couple times there in the theater and I actually had to uh, just leave it on the floor and wait for the movie to be over so that I can actually pick it up and then I just put it in my backpack but we're not reviewing this obviously by the way I chose Mr. Incredible specifically because out of the four uh, five uh, major characters He's really the only one who's uh, remotely resembles Superman. I know it's a weird reason, but uh, that's the reason I chose. So, The Incredibles 2 movie, a movie I have not been very excited for for years. You know, people talked about, where's the Incredibles sequel? Where's the Incredibles sequel? And I was like, yeah, okay, I, I, I did watch the first movie. Years and years and years ago, I didn't really like it that much. Then I saw it again about three years ago, and I liked it. I really, really liked it, looking at it uh, as an adult person. Because, you know, when I was a little kid, I was like, you know, where's the fighting and the superhero stuff, and why is this all this boring bullshit? No. Well, now I know. Now I'm much older, much... Uh, wiser. I'm not gonna say smarter because, well, obvious reasons. But this film takes uh, whatever little bit I liked in the uh, first one and just kicks it up a notch, which is just better. I absolutely love this film. It's one of the best movies I've seen all year, and it's been a one hell of a year, especially for superhero movies. We've got we've had. Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, Deadpool 2, and now this. And uh, forgive me if I'm uh, uh, forgetting any other ones uh, off, the, off the top of my head. I mean, I know we've still got Aquaman, uh, yeah, Aquaman, and Ant-Man coming up. And uh, by the way, you may have noticed uh, my voice is a little different because I'm uh, a little bit sick. I'll get, I'll get through it. I've actually been better. Funny thing is, I... Actually, was a lot, lot sicker when I went to the theater than when I uh, got out of the movie, which is shocking, I guess. I guess watching good movies can uh, uh, help you, I guess. I guess good, good entertainment is good for the soul. So, um, maybe I should just see this movie again. Uh, anyway, uh, I really have to, s to just... Maybe I'll just make another video about this entirely, but this movie is not for children. I mean, it is a kid-friendly movie, for sure. It's an animated movie, it's superheroes stuff, there's some uh, family humor jokes in there, but there are also some very dark themes in this, uh, uh, in this movie, and some really you know, dirty jokes that, you know, kids just, you know, wouldn't understand. And uh, I did laugh out loud at certain moments of the film. I laughed my ass off at certain points and just nobody knew what I, what I was laughing at. By the way, I was there with about like 30 or 40 children and it was just the worst. Kids are just the worst. I mean, they were running around. By the way, they, they had no parental uh, presence at all during the entire uh, film. It was just... They were running around, you know, yelling and screaming and taking pictures of the screen. And there was this little girl kicking my seat uh, all, all the time. And I yelled at her twice. They actually had to call the, the attendant to shut everyone the hell up. Then they still uh, persisted. And they had to actually call in the manager. And it was just a bonfire. Seriously. So uh, be very careful about... Uh, you know, when you go see these movies, the, these uh, Pixar animated movies, because uh, you gotta be very, be very careful not to go 
when there's children's around, if you want to enjoy the movie uh, to its fullest. Uh, but anywho, uh, the uh, the benefits of a good movie is that uh, if it's really good, you can just ignore the other stuff, which is exactly what happened with uh, uh, this movie. It was really so good that I completely just forgot about everything else and I, and I just really enjoyed the movie I really enjoyed the uh, the characters and the character dynamics and how sorry how everything kind of fit together and uh, this might be a tiny insignificant spoiler but if the first one was more of a, a middle age crisis movie for the uh, father figure this um, this movie is actually more of a a brother sister type of relationship, uh, which is something I haven't really heard any of the other uh, reviewers uh, touch upon. But uh, I'm gonna point this out. By the way, I don't have any uh, brothers and sisters, at least not a, a blood related at any rate. But um, yeah, this kind of really uh, touches on the uh, brother and sister uh, dynamic uh, in more ways than one. I'll say that. I guess um, it does a great job of uh, world building uh, and it, it's a very good story uh, it's got very good characters it introduces a bunch of new characters which I can't wait to see if uh, they make uh, more movies on this or if they may make uh, maybe a comic book because it is a superhero franchise now and uh, yeah I I, I can't wait, wait to see uh, some you know potential spin-offs from uh, certain characters because I think certain characters in this movie really deserved it. By the way, I, I uh, have heard from uh, a lot of other reviewers that uh, Jack Jack, the little baby with all the multitude of powers, he uh, stole the, the movie for a lot of people. That was not the case for me. Uh, if anything, the character really did steal the show, in my opinion. It's actually Frozone, and you're really going to see this in the movie again. Again, I'm not going to go into any spoilers, um, but there are certain scenes in this movie that pretty much show you that, uh, yeah, Frozen can basically just stop any crisis on his own. I mean, he doesn't need to be part of a team. Like, technically, he's not part of a team, but these guys are four or five guys who are each. We each have a, his own uh, different superpower. And they work together, and then come comes Frozone along and just, you know, solves every single problem without, without even breaking a sweat. Uh, mostly because you know he's frozen. But uh, I want I want a Frozone movie. Like seriously, seriously. I'm not, I'm not kidding. And I, uh, I'm speaking as a guy who didn't really like the first one, but. After seeing this one, I want a Frozone movie. Uh, so, what else? Oh, uh, I, I really have to touch on this uh, because it's kind of important. Again, uh, no spoilers whatsoever, but um, the villain. Um, there is a twist, uh, a plot twist, uh, concerning the villain. I'm not going to give it away because it's a spoiler. It's a very... A big spoiler, I'd say, but um, what I will say is, uh, it was so obvious and so like in your face, you know. Uh, I could not believe that uh, a movie this good would have the what was supposed to be the uh, the main thing, which is the big like you know I am your father moment, be this you know, transparent. It was like, the most, um, do you think I was born yesterday type of reveal. Because, I mean, just, it was, I saw it coming a mile away, like a thousand miles away. It was like, have you never seen any movie at all? Type of, uh, a debacle there. But, uh, I I don't really want to detract too much from the 
enjoyment I've had from the movie because I, I really did. I enjoyed this movie a lot. Uh, it, it's just, you know, I, I really have to talk about both the positives and the negatives because otherwise that's that doesn't really make it an honest review. And my honest review is that I really loved the uh, story, the characters, the development, the uh, world building, uh, the voice talent uh, especially. But, you know, one of the main plot points, which is, you know, a very integral part of the uh, movie, the, which was the villain, I didn't like. And uh, I, I honestly thought that um, the villain twist reveal in the, in the first one was a lot better. Just in my personal opinion. But uh, that's just me. Uh, I'm sure maybe you guys have watched this movie by now and uh, you think, uh, I don't know, maybe you liked uh, how they uh, treated their villain in this movie. Let me know in the comments below if you uh, uh, have a different opinion. So overall, I'd say uh, Incredibles 2, a really good, well done movie, one of the best of the year. And uh, oh, by the way, I guess I probably should mention this. There is no post credit scene, so uh, don't expect you know something to set up the next movie, like you know in the Marvel movies. But um, excuse me, there is a little bit of a treat for those of you who do stay uh, till the end of the credits, and uh, it's really nice because uh, okay, no spoilers. All of the um, the major uh, characters from the glory days, like Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, and Frozone, uh, apparently they had a theme song, because it, by the way, if you didn't know, this movie is technically kind of based in the 60s, which is the known as the Marvel Age of Comics, which is where comic books just boomed out and uh, uh, just took the shape that they, uh, that they have now. And in the 60s, pretty much every single character uh, had his own TV show. Like, you know, Batman and Spider-Man, uh, Captain America, Iron Man, the Hulk, all of them. They, everyone pretty much had his own uh, uh, self-titled uh, series. And they all had this very uh, catchy, you know, jazz um, theme song. Like, you know... Uh, Batman. You probably heard that right by now. The old when Captain America throws his mighty shield, or Spider Man. Spider Man does whatever a spider can. So uh, they they kind of did their own version of this with the uh, three major characters from the uh, the movie. Like Mr. Incredible has this little theme song of a. Uh, Mr. Incredible, 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 punching the bad guys, pow, pow, pow. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. I ended up just going out of the theater singing it all the way uh, back home, uh, which is uh, really fun. So uh, if you're into that sort of stuff, and if you were a big fan of uh, the 1960s TV shows or the animated series for uh, superheroes from the, that era, and if you're a fan of this... Um, 60s era superheroes in general. You should really watch this movie. And if you really like the idea of the uh, theme songs, you should really stay all the way to the end. Which because it, it's it's really fun and it's uh, definitely worth your time. So uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed my little review. Uh, again, uh, sorry for uh, being sick. I'll uh, remedy the situation, but uh, <laughs> remedy <laughs> get that. Uh, but uh, until next time. Hold on. Hello again everybody, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel where I do all kinds of weird stuff like showcase all these things, you know, trailer reactions, movie reviews, all kinds of fun stuff. So, until next time, I'll see you guys next time.